Welcome and thank you for tuning in to another episode with Everyday Stuff 21, where you'll find fragrance and fitness content. In today's discussion, I'm going to share with you one of the best clones of the OG fragrance known as Creed's Aventus. And I'm gonna share my opinions on, and my thoughts, on why this is a must have. If you're a fan of Creative Ventus, and that fragrance is by the house Armoff, and the scent is called Club de Nui Limited Edition Parfum. And it is outstanding. But before I get started with this discussion, if this is your first time tuning into this channel and you have not yet done so, please consider subscribing, tapping the like button, and leaving a comment on this discussion, and like whether you own this or not. Also tap the notification bell and turning it on and hitting the all button so you'll be alerted when more videos like this one debut. With that being said, Let's get started. So, I'm gonna start off by showing you the presentation. And here's the box that you're gonna get with this particular one. And it is very nice. Gives you that very sort of next level, luxurious feel about it. So I'm gonna show you what's inside. They send you this card and this is a display on the other versions that they do offer. Now, here is the actual box that it comes in. And here's the box. Very nice, it's heavy, nice design, very next level for this company as far as I'm concerned. And here is how it looks. And as you see, they just fell. It has the little scarf here where you can wipe it off with. And let's just pull out the box here so you can see it. And here's the bottle. I ain't gonna lie to you, the bottle is not the greatest. It's very simple and it's plain. The finish is really nice. I don't know if you can tell if I hold it on an angle, but the finish is really nice. And as you can see, you can see on the front, it says limited edition. And let me tell you guys, this is it. This is so good. Man, guys, if you are a fan of Creed Aventus, this is the one. Now, they have another one. It is Club de Nuit Intense Man. It is the EDT version. And the, the, the one thing about that one is it is almost identical in terms of the scent notes and everything you're gonna find. But the only thing is, is the opening, it has this very synthetic, um, somewhat, natural type of feel to it, not really natural, it's very synthetic. So that kind of takes away from it. But when it comes to that particular version, it is right there. Now, with that particular version, it is very inexpensive. It's gonna give somewhere between 28 to maybe $50, you could be able to find that out there on the market. And verse Creative Ventus, where you're gonna be up there 300 maybe more depending on where you find it now this guy here this guy here is way way better than the other arm off the edt version and it's because the opening is so much smoother and it feels more natural and guys performance wise this is a beast man i'm talking about you getting 10 12 hours very good projection for a good stretch of time. This is this is it, guys. Now, this one here is going to be priced a little bit more, and because it's a limited edition, it's not going to be as easy to come across. So, if you get an opportunity to find it, get it. It is definitely, as far as I'm concerned, blind buy worthy. This was a blind buy for me. I didn't feel like I could miss because I smelled the EDT. The big thing is with this one, the notes are slightly different. So what you're gonna find when you first spray it on a card, like that first opening, you're gonna get those citrus notes like your lime, your lemon, your pineapple. You're gonna get also, you're gonna get black pepper and you're gonna get pink pepper. And that's how this differs from Creed Aventus and the other Club de Nuit Intense Man because 
Both of those have more fruits in the opening with Creed's Aventus having black currant as well as apple and it doesn't have this even though it smells almost like it so this gives it more of a citrus smoky musky type of vibe so in the heart in the middle when it starts to transition away from the beginning you're going to get some white florals and rose and in the base when it settles down you're going to get the wood you're gonna get, I think a cedar wood, I believe. Then you're also gonna find in there musk, white musk and broxen, patchouli and leather. And I'm almost certain that because of the leather in it, that's just gonna allow it to push and project and last so long. Guys, this is such a smooth scent. It smells extremely expensive. You'll, you can find this for under $100. It is it, guys. This is this is a wonderful scent. I today I went looking back around for it, and it's already sold out again. So I'm happy I have this one. And honestly, I've decided to treat uh, a good friend of mine with this as well, who's just getting into fragrances. So I have a small, quick story for you. So I was talking to a friend not too long ago, and I'm just going to call him the trucker for now and he reached out to me looking for some suggestions and he was already at the location where he was going to buy it but i didn't wasn't aware of it when he reached out to me didn't say these things he just said what do you recommend and i will be at this store i think he was at a neiman marcus or Saks Fifth avenue so i casually sent the stuff but it didn't get to him until the next day because i was really thinking about it if I had known he was there, I would have sent this sooner. So needless to say, he ended up falling in life with Creed's Aventus, and I believe that's what he left with. Now, if I had been there, I probably would have directed him in a different direction. And if he had reached out and said that this Creed Aventus is what he liked, then I would have definitely have pointed him into this, where he would have been able to save a couple to maybe $300 on that bottle for one single bottle that really gives you almost the identical scent. Even with the EDT, yes, the openness is synthetic, but once it settles down and it's on your skin, you know, that whole synthetic thing will fade a bit. Although with this guy here, no, this is it guys. Oh my goodness. Compliment factor. Like I said, it's all it's borderline the best copy clone version. And I like the smokiness. The smokiness gives it a little bit of an edge from the black pepper and the pink pepper. And I'm not sure it might be something else that's also contributing to that smoky vibe. But this is dope, guys. You want compliments? Good. Now, here's another thing. This is a very flexible fragrance like it's easy a signature scent like you can wear this spring summer winter fall and you're going to get great performance you're going to get wonderful attention from this as well now maybe in the summer you might want to if it's hot out you might want to decide to go light with the sprays because it is a performance monster a performance beast you might want to start off with one or two sprays and just see how it reacts and it's definitely for all ages. I mean, from young on up. Now the smokiness might do a little bit for some young or it might not. I don't know. That's for you to try. I really think this is a fantastic fragrance. I plan to keep this on deck. I've only probably sprayed this like twice, so it's still new to me and I'm very much enjoying it. So that's what I got for you. Hopefully you you enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll try it. If you have this, please leave it in the comments. If it's something you're looking for, please share it with us. Let us know how your journey is coming along with this. Thank you for allowing me to bend your ears and fill your eyes with substance. Please like and leave a comment and subscribe. Until we meet again, peace and blessings.